Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can modify the reports that are provided with Sage 50 to create your own custom reports. To modify a report, first select the report that you want to use as a basis for your custom report within the Select a Report or Form window. Then click the Options button that appears within the toolbar at the top of the window to open the Reports Modification window. The Report Modification options are shown within the Modify Report window that then appears. Now in the Filters section, you'll see the filters that are available for this report. Here you can change the criteria used to filter the report data. The available options will change based on what data is used within the report. To add a new filter, click on the name of the field within the filters list by which you wish to filter the data within the report. Then set any available options for the selected field in the adjacent area to the right. You should then see your filter appear within the listing of report filters at the bottom of this section. To remove a report filter, you simply set the value of the selected field within the filter back to its default value of All, or if you wish to remove all filters from a report, you can also click the Clear All Filters button within the Filters area to clear all filters from a report. Now in the date section, you can use the drop down menu that appears to select a date range of data to use for the report. For any reports that use dates, you can also use the from and to drop down menus to create a custom date range if you prefer. And note that some reports like the customer list or the vendor list don't need a date range for their values. Now next in the Sorting and Summary section, you'll use the drop-down that's available to select your report's sorting options and summary options. Once again, not all reports will have summary options available. Next you can click the Columns hyperlink to display the Columns tab for your report in Sage 50. Here you can check the Show checkbox for the columns or report fields that you want to show within the report. Now as you check additional columns to show within the report, if you look in the column number column, you'll see their order from left to right displayed as a numeric ascending ranking starting with column number 1, which appears at the far left of the report. If you want to change the order that the columns will appear within the report, you can select the one that you want to change the position of and then click either the Move Up or Move Down buttons in this tab to change its column number. Now if you open the Columns tab, Note that you can simply click the Fonts tab within the same dialog box to view font information for your report. Alternately, within the Options window, you can also click the Fonts hyperlink within the Modify Report window to display the Fonts tab. Now on the Fonts tab, you can click the A button that appears at the right end of any available font style shown in order to open a font dialog box where you can set the font style as you would like for each report section listed. Here you can also input your report titles at the bottom of the fonts tab.
you can simply click the OK button when you're done to apply your changes to the font. Now you can continue to modify the report layout. In the preview, you can change the width of the columns that are shown by clicking and dragging on the blue double pointed arrows between the column headings in order to set their width. Now when you're finished editing your report, simply click the Save button to save your report. Give it a new custom name, and then click the Save button within the Save As dialog box to save it. Now in the future, this custom report will appear within the selected report category in the Select a Report or Form window. All customized reports have an icon of a blue wrench appear next to them within the Select a Report or Form window in order to distinguish them from the preset reports that are provided by Sage 50. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.